Hello everybody and welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. This episode I won't be playing Puzzle Boy and forgetting to turn on my mic like I did in the last one. So without further ado, I got a quick progress report for everybody. So, first things first, I took another like 12 hours inside of the Labyrinth of Amala to grind in that poisonous section. And uh, I've leveled up to level 94. Me only. And... My demons are different levels because I've decided to refuse them because during my journey of getting my compendium of the demon variety to like 74%, I came across a demon who had debilitate. So I wanted to basically refuse the pre-evolution version of uh, Suchu Lane and uh, uh, how do you even pronounce that? He's just Sun Wukong. I wanted to fuse or refuse them with the debilitate ability and i think only two of them have it yeah most of everybody has suku kaja well he doesn't have suku kaja because i wanted to keep avenge on him because that's hella neat but two people have the ability i myself while grinding also uh, equipped another magatama um with Mediorama and no fire, so I guess I am immune to fire now. And on top of that, actually, um, I ended up going back to the tunnels of Ikebukuro and fighting those four Oni guys. Um, it, it, there wasn't really much with them. You just had to beat them. They were fairly easy because I have no life and grinded to infinity and beyond, I guess. So we're going to proceed without further ado. I couldn't get above like a certain percentage on my compendium fusion wise because i think i have to complete a bunch of like quests and stuff to get access to some of the demon special fusions so i think we were going to the obelisk to uh fight the uh i forgot what that group's name is the hikawa group all right talk it's up to you to stop whatever's going on inside the obelisk Use the secondary entrance of the Neolos headquarters in Ginza to make your way there. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so Ginza. Actually, hold on a sec. I was also... I almost forgot. I have 40 strength, but I have 37 strength by myself without the Magatama. Can I open that door in the Mancho's hideout? Because if I can, I would pretty much like to do that today. Let me just make sure, though. Because I was told by uh, one of my commenters that that is the case. Or that you have to be at a certain strength to open that. Um, you need 24 base base strength. I'm, I'm well past that. Okay. Let's go back to Ikebukuro, right? We're opening the hell out of that door. That's what we're going to do. I was a lot closer to that than I realized. Okay. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. I think it's in the basement. Where the jail cells are. Ah, uh, left, right. Okay. You guys do not want to step to me right now, all right? <laughs> it, it would not be fun for you. I don't think anything should be able to get the drop on me. Uh, the only thing I have to watch out for is status ailment and, like, uh, afflictions of the mind, like fear and all of that jazz poison and like if uh because i know like in shin megami tensei 4 beelzebub like afflicts you and then like kicks your ass ridiculously <laughs> just because of your afflictions because there are moves that are based off if you have an affliction they'll like reduce your hp down to one or something I'm really hoping that's not in this game, but I I wouldn't doubt if it it was at some point. 
Okay. Are we actually going to pry it open? Oh. Oh, there it is. You forced the door open. This better be good. Magatama Gaia. Death, ah, uh -uh, no, instant death moves. Get out of here. I mean, I guess that was worth it. There's a trophy for collecting all the Magatamas, I think. And with that, we're out of here. Oh my lord. I need to get a stoma. It's kind of a double-edged sword though, because like, I fight all the weak guys and they give me a decent amount of XP per episode. So, like, I guess if I avoid all those fights together, then it... Well, actually, it shouldn't even really matter at this point. I'm literally, like, six levels away from the max level, which I'm assuming is level 99. Unless they do a Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse thing where they let you level up past 100. Um, but, but, yeah, as soon as I level up to the max, I could just focus on fusion. Which is freaking fantastic. Gathering cash. I guess I'll have to fight as many enemies as I can anyways just to get some cash. Because so far, I think the max I've gotten per fight is like 500 yen or something. Alright, uh, Ginza. What do they mean by the other entrance, by the way? Because I've only ever seen the one entrance, the one we actually went in to fight Hikawa and his Ose. Man, the Cathedral of Shadows is one great place. Sacrificial fusions, the Demon Compendium, it's got it all. Yeah, alright, same dialogue choices. The sacrificing mechanic in this game really is good, though. Because you get to increase your uh, demon's level and your demon's uh, stats based on the uh, strength of the sacrificial pawn. So... Oh, wait a second. Do you see the other assembly of Nihilo building across the railroad tracks? It doesn't look like the mantra attacked that one. How do I get there? going on? Didn't the mantra win? I heard a bunch of Makatsuhi got vacuumed out of Ikebukuro. How do I get there? Looks like I might have to go around. Is there a map for this? There's not. I think I might have to go around somehow. Let me just make sure that we're not supposed to go back in here. The assembly of Nihilo, the door is tightly shut. What is, uh... What, I can't go on that? Doesn't make much sense. Oh, that just goes into nowhere, that's why. How the hell do I get over there? Huh.
Oh, wait, is that a tunnel? It, okay, no. It looks like I could go under. So I think I do have to go around. Oh my god. Holy shit, this is annoying. I need to get a stoma. Screw the extra XP. Do I have any goddamn, um... Repulse bells. Okay. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this goes to where the great underpass is and the upper portion doesn't even go down, so I don't think it is that way. How the hell... Oh god, I used it. Oh, I used it too early. Bro. Am I gonna have to search this up? I don't want to spend like forever trying to get to this place. Maybe I have to talk to Bar Lady again. I don't know. Or maybe I have to talk to Hijiri one more time. He's not in here, right? All right, you know what? Let's... It's up to you to stop whatever's going on inside the... Use the secondary entrance of the Neolos headquarters in Ginza to make your way there. The secondary entrance? Are you not going to tell me where the fuck that is? <laughs> Bro. What the hell? All right. Maybe I do have to talk to the bar lady. The mannequins went to Asakusai here. With Futomimi as their leader, the city is slowly coming back to life. But it's times like these when the unexpected occurs. Kabuchiko prison is where the mantra get the bulk of their magatsuhi. It's their lifeline, so to speak. So if that goes down, so does the mantra's headquarters. Did I actually go all the way to the right? When I was... Uh, oh, God. When I was going into that area where the great underpass of Ginza was, but just above it, did I ever go there? Or was that a different place that I'm thinking of? Because I think, like, all the way to the right, upper right or something, I got a, like, a red chest. But I don't remember if the reason I did not continue exploring was because I just didn't want to. Oh my god. Fucking hell game. 
Two steps. Two steps. <laughs> this game is gonna drive me nuts. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember if the reason that I did not explore fully was because it was a dead end or because I wanted to continue with the story instead of just continuing to explore. So let me check this one more time just to make sure before... Let me extinguish all of my options before I search it up. No, I went to that upper bridge to collect that chest. Down is the underpass of Ginza. I went across the highway if I were you. The demons are dangerous like you. Wait, did... Did I ever go here? Oh! Okay, this is different. I was confusing this... This little bridge here with those bridges up top that led me to that cash cube. So, am I going the right way? Is this gonna loop under and over across the train tracks? Is that what this is gonna do? I mean, it, I guess it makes kind of some sense. I don't know why... Okay, well, I know why. I thought that this was just gonna lead me to the dead end with the cash cube. Now, if we could just get across the bridge without doing 20 million thousand fights. Oh, my lord. This is where I'm supposed to be. Fan freaking tastic. I see a delectable cash cube on the upper left there. This region is the Nihilo's top priority. That's why security here is super tight. I'm not in a good mood today after having to fight 20 bajillion people. All right, you see a cash cube. Will you open it? Yes. What is this, a boss fight? No. Get out of here. How dare you have boss music? What's that building on the upper right, upper there? So I think that's where I'm supposed to go, the Nihilo headquarters on the right, but what is this? An optional area? Yurakucho Station. Oh, the entrance is closed tight. Never mind. Probably an area for later then. Wonder what all this black goop is. obviously being used to block off certain areas, but purposefully or just because the world is messed up is the question. Oh boy.
Okay, now if they were smart, they would keep this secondary entrance closed as well. But I guess they're not smart. Well, there you go. What is this? An empty room. Came from there. I should probably heal Sun Wukong. Ah, scrub XP. Okay. Oh, I should have bought a bunch of medicines. I have the money for it. But I guess it doesn't matter. I have Mediorama and I have Throne in my secondary stock. Select a floor. B15 it is, I guess. Man, they should have the decency to put some elevator music in or something. Oh my god. Good thing I bought a bunch of light balls to uh, go through that Ikebukuro tunnel area to fight the Onis. Because this would just be straight up a... Whoa. Oh, oh, they're connected. So I'm assuming none of these doors are going to open. Oh, wait. They are going to open. They're just dark. Ouch. Dicks. Holy shit. Okay, that's ridiculous. Why'd you guys have all the lights turn off? This is creepy. This is a trap. Medicine. Wow. Thanks for that. That looks different. Alright, I'm not... I... Okay. Oh, God. Poison. Okay. Should I risk it? Should I keep risking it? I mean, it's not like it's that detrimental to my team, but still. The Tragic Rock. I'm guessing this is where I'm supposed to go. Since it's lit up and everything. Oh, it's on... Oh, wait, no, this... Oh, shit. Right, okay, they brought me down here. They brought me down here. And then they were like, leave. And then they just took me out immediately. All right, I'm going to save in that Amala cylinder. Oh. Oh. Never mind. I guess I'm not going to save at that Amala Cylinder. Oh, no. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. 
What the? Bro. What the shit? This is such a waste of intricate corridor. Might as well make a fucking train track here or something. This is ridiculous. Jeez. Light was snuffed out in the darkness. Alright, that's fine. I'm surprised this is a safe area. First floor. Sorry. Well, a mala cylinder. Oh boy. I'm guessing it's gonna be a brand new area outside. Or some kind of enclosed space, or even more of the hideout, maybe. Press save. Maruanucci? Did I read that right? Marunouchi. Yeah. Brand new area. Anything down here? Oh, well, that's the obelisk we're obviously supposed to go to. Very ominous looking thing. You see a cash cube, will you open it? Lifestone times three. There's no way this is the final boss area. I don't think... Are we like... I don't even think we're halfway through the game, are we? It doesn't seem like we are. I know I've been playing this game for like 142 hours, but like most of that has been grinding and fusing shit. I don't think there's been that much story, if I'm being honest. At least compared to 4. I'm gonna check all this shit out. The light was snuffed out. Ten thousand maka. Heck yeah. It's empty. I don't see any enterable buildings. I did see something on the upper right there. Like another cash cube, I believe. Ito Tsubashi. Long ago, there was a hero who fought against the tides of the time in pursuit of a better world. His name was Taira no Masakado. He probably... he was probably watching over us even now. Masakado, again? Masakado Zuka. You see the grave of Masakado. That's gonna be... that's gonna be wicked important. We're gonna have to come back here and the, the spirit of Masakado is gonna be like, I'll help you kick their asses. Is Masakado a figure in all of these Shin Megami Tensei games? Is that what happens? <laughs> Don't be hasty now. Please spare my knife. Yeah, give it. Uh, no, fuck you. You die. No second chances. Beat times one. We're pro yeah, I, I'm calling it now. We're going to have to come back to his grave and tell him to help us. Oh. Sure, why not? Free fusion fodder material. That bridge goes nowhere, but I'll try it anyway. There you go. 
into the obelisk we go. I was told that this was a tower of puzzles or some shit. I'm hoping it's nowhere near as frustrating as um, Puzzle Boy. Because that was kind of annoying for no reason. I didn't think it was going to be that long. Last episode was literally Puzzle Boy. And that's pretty much it. Like 75% of the episode. Obelisk. Ominous. Welcome to the obelisk. This is the closest you can get to Gagatsuchi in all of Tokyo. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Save just in case. Obelisk A. How many doors does or floors does this thing have? Arahabaki. Oh boy, I forgot. Is it wo ice? No. Alright, I can't just auto-attack them. I gotta actually try with these guys. And if they're an indication of anything, I have to probably try with most of the guys in here as well. Alright, dismute. Is this an elevator? Top floor. She's collecting Magatsuhi with her powers. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's our teacher. Oh, there's a cash cube. Gimme. Okay. But yeah, I forgot our teacher was up there. Actually, Hijiri told us, right? That she was also up there. She said she had no choice, I think. Right? Oh, God. <sighs> okay. This is going to be a guessing game. You sense a strong power. <laughs> Cold sounding woman. Just as Lord Hikawa predicted, it seems a rat has wandered in. Clotho. <laughs> Other cloth lady. I assume you are here for that woman, but we three sisters guard the obelisk. Okay, so fight me. We are quite unlike that useless Osei. <laughs> if you want her back, you must defeat us. Well, if you can get to us in the first place. Kagutsuchi repeats the process of birth and death. It will not wait for you. Now, come. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find all three of them and fight them. Presumably separately, like in the tunnels. Which is gonna be a pain in my ass, basically, is what you're telling me. Now I really wish I had a stoma. This tower is protected by the Moray sisters. As long as they're here, you won't even catch a glimpse of the maiden. Alright. What is this? I thought it was a hole I could jump down. Okay. Dead ends.
Ouch. Ooh, thanks for that. And freaking fantastic. At least the money, I, oh my fucking god. <sighs> At least the money I get from each fight is fine. Alright, there's a thing to ride up. The Moray sisters have set devices to stop intruders. You must control the flow of time. What does that mean? You will soon find out. Oh boy. You must touch the glowing sphere and control time to deactivate the device ahead, but if you take too much time in doing so, the floor will crumble beneath you. A malevolent device, fitting of the Moray sisters. What does that mean? Um... There's a glowing sphere, will you touch it? atmosphere around you changed. What am I supposed to do? Time passes quickly. Uh... Okay, so I have to press the same symbol on the door. I'm guessing. You know what? I don't think I'm ever going to be back here. I'll grab as much shit as I can. Chakra drop. Come fight me, you bastards. Yeah. Is this oh I'll take it I don't like how there's no music at all Kind of a uh, weird atmosphere.
Life stone. Hmm. Sacred water. Down instead. Another dead end. Okay, other way it is. Alright, well, I've determined it's not easier to just run away, so... Bullshit. I guess I have to fight. These enemies must be wicked strong if I can't run away from them. So, don't think I've got much of a choice here. Okay. That's where I came from. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm going to be driven insane before the end of this episode. The pillar at the center of the obelisk sends collected Magatsuhi to the bottom. You saw the Magatsuhi being stored down here, right? Where, Where the hell is that? What the shit? I am... Wait, was there another way further down? Did I miss something? Are these, uh, I think this place is, uh, kind of confusing me <laughs> a little bit. dead. So I think I missed something on the left. Oh! I didn't see the stairs going down. My bad. This place's illusions are getting to me. The Kaja Rock. Okay. 
Okay, this way is the right way. Man, it would have been great to have multi elemental attack moves, but then like it would screw me over so hard if one of these guys wasn't weak to ice at all and was like null to it. So in the long run, it's a good choice, but holy shit, is it inconvenient not to have those moves. So my guess is I have to go up there. But there's something hidden over here. Probably a cash cube. Oh, nothing at all. Okay. Never mind. Just random dead ends for no reason. Is this going to be the first boss fight? Oh my lord. Help me, please. Dead end? Oh, what is that? Is that gonna drop me? Ride where? Oh my god, there's hidden floors now. Okay, this place is getting steadily and steadily more annoying. <laughs> That's fine, we'll make it through eventually. I'll start feeling a whole lot better about this when I beat two out of the three ladies of the cloth or whatever. Nothing here. Wait, is that stairs? Or is that nothingness? Can't tell from this angle. Stairs. To nothingness. So both. Thank <laughs> you. 
What dumb? Do I have to get that many squares? Is that it? So, hold on. If I... If I do... That's eight. So, do this. Okay, I think I got the hang of that down. That's not that bad. What's over there? Should I care? You know what? I'm just gonna go up. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't I don't wanna waste time here, to be honest. There's two cubes. What happens if I... Oh. Does that one go back down? 
dang, there it is again. Do you hear it? A woman screaming from above. I find it deeply unsettling. I don't hear it. Bro, stop moaning in my ear. Jeez. What, do you want me to get a chub or something? Get out of here. Is this oh now that the nightmare system has been activated no one can stop the assembly of nihilo the world of stillness is near not if i can help it i am the protagonist oh boy ouch dick all right i should heal I do not want to do all this shit over again. Holy shit, are you serious? Stop. Oh my god. Just stop. Please. Just stop it. <laughs> no more. Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, game. Alright, I came prepared. I'm probably gonna end up buying more chakra drops from the underpass of Ginza before going into the, uh... Next section of the, uh, Labyrinth of Amala. But I still need to find the, uh, other two... Whatchamacallits? The other two, um... Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Wait. Does this one come back down? Try this one. Not this one. This isn't that bad. It's just the encounters that are kind of annoying. If I... Hold on. I'm gonna try something. Okay, then never mind, die. Scrub? I did the last to the left. I'll do the second to last to the left. Next.
Was this the right one? Hey. Oh no, it's a mixture. Oh. Never mind, that's simple. Oh, there's a cathedral of fusion here for some reason? Wow. Why? Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather. Actually, hold on. Do I have a demon? Oh? With, um, a stoma. Stoma. A stoma. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This will make things potentially more easier for me. Demons with a stoma. SMT3. Archangel. So... Archangel should have a stoma. Oh, but he hasn't... Okay. Oh, no. And just to make sure, hold on. A stoma skill overview. Reduces encounter rate of low-level demons onto a new Kagatsuchi. What do they consider low-level demons? Alright, you know what? Here. Oh, shit. Hold All on. Right. Uh, party. Hurt with. Get out of here, Principality. Nobody needs you. I might just... Level Welcome up Archangel real quick. Shadows, where demons gather. Where'd he go? Are you sure? Hmm. Oh. All right. Just so that I can get that Estoma skill on him and I can use it. That... What's down here? Nothing? Literally nothing. Pazuzu? Did you just... Did you just kill my Archangel? He did. Dick? Okay, um, I'm gonna go for the left door first.
actually, can I even... How the hell? go back it just disactivates okay um can i hmm if i do i need to do s 7 Or actually, no, sorry, I need to do five. So let's say I do... down here Is that the door I came from? It is. Oh, another one. So, eight again. Simple enough. 90 floor. 90th floor. Jesus Christ. Commander Hikawa will do anything to realize his creation. To him, even the Maiden may just be a pawn in his master plan. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Give me that cash cube. The Zuzu.
dead. Is this the final area? This seems like an elevator that's gonna take me all the way up. Or wait, I guess not all the way up, never mind. Up to the next dumb floor thingy. Why would you buff your magic and use physical attacks? Cash cube. Ouch. Okay. Throne. Help me out. And what is that? Paralyzation? Stun? Yeah. I should buy more of those dis everythings. <gasps> oh my god, spring of titties. I could have I could have used you. You know what? Fuck it. My lady. Thank you for being here. Please heal everybody. Thank you. I will miss your orbs. Until next time. Oh yeah. We usually don't sim for anyone on this channel, but I'll make an exception for the Lady of the Fountain of the Orbs. Okay, alright. You're just bullying my bro at this point. Leave my level 10 goddamn Archangel alone. That's kind of annoying. Alright? Now I'm gonna have to use another Revival Bead. Dicks. Sorry, level 19. Here, you can have a bead. Beads aren't as rare as they were in uh, 4. Surprisingly enough. Below here is where the Nihilo hide all their treasure. But no one who's gone looking for it has ever come back alive. Go upstairs if you have business with the maiden. Okay. Oh, wait a second. What the fuck? No. I'm sorry. I couldn't care less about your treasure. Fuck that shit. I want to get out of here. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Oh. 
What an inefficient structure the obelisk is. Oh my god, again? Stop! What is wrong with you? Revival bead. Bro, let me get a stoma, please. Archangel. Oh, dead end. Don't tell me this is gonna... Oh, okay. Alright. Never mind. I thought it was gonna be uh, a thing where if you choose the wrong block, it's gonna take you to the wrong place. old cylinder of Amala. Thank you for always being there for me, little buddy. The Moray sisters. Clotho is the spinner. Um, what was Lachesis? Atropos is inevitable. Hmm, one spins the thread, the last one cuts it. What goes in the middle? Weaves it? Is my guess. Alright, so I'm guessing that's gonna be a boss fight. Are they not going to have me fight them separately? I thought they would have me fight them separately for some reason. I, I thought they would do an Ikebukuro tunnel and basically have me search for them individually. But I guess not. sisters are waiting on the floor above. I hope you enjoy being tortured to death. Okay. I'm sorry, little buddy. Time to switch you back. It's time for a boss fight. Uh. Huh? allow you to pass here. Uh-huh, yeah, shut up. I am Lachesis, the second of the Moire sisters. I measure the length of life. Your thread is reaching its end. Okay. I mean... You can do that all you want. Here. Have a debilitate.
How do you do against physical attacks? Magic Reflecting Barrier. That's fine. Hit her with two more Debilitates. And all of us with a Sukukaja. And now I'm just gonna go ham on her for the next couple of turns. They're probably all going to run away to back each other up and we're going to have to fight them all at the same time or something. <laughs> I am Atropos, the eldest of the Moire sisters. How unlucky of you to meet me. I cut the threads of fate. In other words, your fate is already sealed. Same as before. Gonna go ham the next couple of turns. Dodged. And you're gonna run away too. Of course. Okay, on to the next one. And you know what? That debilitate skill really does use a lot of MP. So let me chakra drop these two guys. And why not? Is the one on the right? It's also four. works yeah pretty much i am clotho the youngest of the moire sisters i shall wind the thread of your life No. All right. Killer, please.
What now? Wait, am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Am I supposed to go to the middle one again, maybe? Okay. Touch. Maybe I'm supposed to go back to the middle one again. Knock it off. You weak to anything? I can make you our lover. But unfortunately, we have orders from Lord Hikawa. This time, I shall wind what's left of your life. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I beat them the first time. So I beat the three sisters the first time again. And then I went back downstairs to save on the Amala Cylinder. And right now I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to get... What was her name? La Chesses again? Just because she seems to be the tougher out of the three. Just mostly because of that insta-death move, which is kind of bullshit. <laughs> but... Or Clotho, not La Chesses. My bad. If you like me that much, but unfortunately, we this time. I yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna suku kaja the hell out of myself. So, debilitate suku kaja, suku kaja, pass debilitate. Dodged. Alright, debilitate. Sukukaja. Sukukaja. Debilitate. Okay, now. Can we get her before she tries to do an instant death move? <laughs> yes. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time she's gonna physical or barrier herself up. Magic barrier. So I can attack her physically. Physical barrier. drop okay I'm gonna risk it and go for the other sister as well and then I'm gonna save
I will cut off any attachments you have to this world. I think that's the max I can debilitate her. Alright, should be simple from here on now. I get the feeling that I'm gonna have to fight them all three at the same time because they ran away. So I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I'm not risking shit, especially with Clotho. Because if I have to fight all three of them at the same time, she is going to insta-death attack the shit out of me. And she did have healing as well, so she's also gonna heal the shit out of them. So I'm probably gonna just try to kill her first. After buffing and debuffing them, of course. First two rounds are probably going to be used strictly for buffing and debuffing. Um, Lifestone. Okay. Save. Thank you. Can't risk anything with mofos that have insta-death. I could, I guess, um, get, like, some uh, skill set from the Magatamas that will no, like, uh, insta-death moves, but I think I'll need two of them for light and darkness, which is just gonna be such a waste of space. But the thing is, I think it'll be worth it, as long as I have a Magatama that's not weak to anything in particular. But speaking of Magatama, which one do I have equipped right now? No light. Why am I weak to, uh, ice then? If the Magatama doesn't have a weakness. Whatever. sense a strong floor above will you go up yep oh well there you go i was right <laughs> we aren't letting you pass that easily do not underestimate us we three moire sisters will spin measure and snap your fate oh is that what you're doing measuring okay no problem well, you three are getting debilitated right off the bat. Pass. Debilitate. Oh, God. God. Physical barrier. <laughs> S 
snap out of it, buddy. Please. Come on. Don't. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. They're fully debilitated, I believe. Devastating blow? Heck yeah. Okay. Sukukaja, just in case she starts using insta death. Kamikaze. Uh. Hey! Okay, this is easier than I thought it'd be. As soon as I got rid of uh, Clotho... <laughs> Wrecked. Oh. Okay, I feel way better now. What's up, buddy? <laughs> this is thing stinks, so you can have it. Okay. You obtained the Magatama dead. What is this? There is light coming from above. Will you ascend? No, not yet. Hold on. I need to make sure I'm ready for any possibility. There's probably a second boss fight or something. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Whoa. Oh. What the shit? Are they sucking all that out of you? Or are you the medium through which they absorb everything or something? Okay. <laughs> Give my teacher back to me, machine. As you wish, sir. Sure, that works, I guess. <sighs> Thank you. So did you not make a deal with Hikawa to help him out, or what? I don't know why. But I had a feeling you'd come and save me. It's funny. I remember telling you all these things about how you could rely on me. Yet here I am, relying on you instead. Turns out I'm completely powerless. How can I expect to shape the world when I can't even shape my own life? All I did as the Maiden was follow Hikawa's orders. Why did you do that, by the way? You told me you'd explain everything. He told me I'd be the pillar of the new world, but not like this. In the end, I was nothing but a tool for collecting Magatsuhi. I knew the conception would come at a heavy cost, the price of the world itself. I knew, yet I went through with it regardless. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. And as it stands now, the new world is going to be a far cry from what I'd hoped. Why did you trust the evil douchebag, by the way? I dreamed of an ideal world where people were grateful to be alive. To be honest, I couldn't stand the way things were before. We claimed to want peace, yet nobody took any personal responsibility for the world's problems. We were selfish to the core. I don't think that's ever gonna change unless you literally kill all human beings. And even then, like, ethereal ghosts and demons and shit still are selfish and fight each other anyways. It's just gonna be the state of the world no matter what world you create. I don't know what you want, to be honest. Not only that, we were miserable, though no one would admit it if you asked. Our indolence fed our complacence. And did anyone seek to better themselves or raise the bar for humanity higher? No, because they saw no value in it. What do you, okay. That's how I saw the world. In my mind, a world like that might as well one day blink out of existence. 
No wonder I got manipulated by Hikawa. That was but a stupid reason, by the way. Step. It's like you chose to kill all the students and all the people on the world as a better solution because you didn't like the world. That's so fucking stupid. I... The world is still being recreated. Its shape is not yet fixed. And I discovered a goddess who can set things right. Not even Hikawa knows of her existence. She was drawn here by the power of Magatsuhi. Surely she can teach me the reason for creation. I feel like all of you are crazy. I don't like the world, so I'm gonna go along with this guy's plan to kill everybody and create a new one. What'd you do? What the fuck? Fool who bears the name of freedom. Under the light of liberty, your wrong shall be forgiven. I am Aradia. I have come from the far reaches of Amala. It is my duty to bestow freedom. Ask, and you shall be set free. Can, can you get out of my if teacher's you body? Yourself right, light will return to the world. But so will darkness. Pursue the way of creation. You yourself are a world too. Do not obey others. Do what you believe is right. That's what I was planning on doing anyways, and since you're telling me that, I think I trust you better than I do every other person, <laughs> to be honest. You received power from Aradia. You can now employ two additional demons. Hey! This woman will soon recover her lost power. She will set forth on the path of creation, and I will guide her. Go, and see the world with your own eyes. From there will your creation begin. Don't take my teacher. Don't. Bro. Bro. I just came here to save her and you fucking took her. Bitch. <laughs> Bro. I am so mad. What are you doing? Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, dear. Aradia has entered this world. This can only mean trouble, my little master. You should be very thankful. My little master has given me permission to enlighten you. Listen closely to what I am about to tell you. Yes, please, Esposition, dump all over my face. I need it. Everybody's gone crazy. The time of creation for this Vortex world is near. War will erupt amongst those who spread their reason in hopes of shaping the new world. As a demon, you are forbidden to conceive your own reason. Which reason will you side with? Which will you oppose? Will the reason you choose persevere or fail? Your suffering is my little master's delight. Struggle as hard as you can. You're such a little prick, bro. <laughs> you are free to follow whichever reason you like. My only wish is that you do not disappoint my little master with a dull ending. The child and the old woman have disappeared. Get good, scrub. I'm probably gonna have to fight you or something. Okay, uh... Well, damn, what now? I guess... Back to Hajiri? Probably? I wonder if I can fuse those, uh, those, uh, fortune ladies now. You're not bad defeating the Moray sisters. Screw Hikawa, I should just follow you. Heck yeah, come on. I'm your boss now, I'm, I'm the captain. I'll take you all under my wing. 
You'll be my little Yakuza. And I shall be the ruler of the new world. <laughs> I got it. Lachesis is the uh, apparitioner. A, a portioner? Apparitioner? Whatever sounds right. All right, return to terminal. Let me go back to Asakusa and talk to Hijiri. If bro's still here. Hey, hey buddy. You did it. I could tell from here that the flow of Magatsuhi had returned to normal. Well, now that you showed the Niolo who the real demon is, Hikawa won't be able to make his move for a while. I feel like you know more than you're letting on. I feel like you're gonna be like a fourth ending or something. I think we can take a little breather. But how did you stop the nightmare system? Wasn't that made in operating it? Yeah. I saved her. So, the cow was using her, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Who knows what she'll do now? But at least the nightmare system is dead. For now. Oh yeah. I know it might seem like I'm making you do all the work. You are, yeah. That's exactly 100% what's happening. But I'm doing what I can. Let me share with you what I've found out so far, okay? It better be good. All right, listen up. To create a new world, you need a strong idea of what kind of world you want to make. This idea is commonly referred to as a reason. Now, to acquire a reason, you have to receive divine protection from a god. And this is where the Magatsuhi comes into play. You need a large quantity of Magatsuhi in order to summon said god. Oh. That's why Hikawa, a human, was collecting Magatsuhi. Which reminds me, I met another human inside the Amala network just a minute ago. It was some guy who used to be held captive by the mantra. Do you know him? Yeah, he's my best friend who went arguably crazy for no fucking reason. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, it seems like he's a full-on resident of the Amala network now. Oh. If you're unlucky, you can get swept away somewhere. Or even worse, the network will straight up absorb you. But that's how it goes in this world, where one life doesn't amount to much, and human relationships are pretty much non-existent. Me and you are friends, right, Hijiri? Nonetheless, I can send you to where I met him if you want. Shh, I guess... Later, though. So that's probably going to be our next stop in the next episode. But for now, I want to see if I can find the last two horses of the apocalypse. Because instead of uh, doing that, the next episode, I might just um end up doing the third Kappa of Amala. Oh, who are you? The northern part of the city is restored and now you can go inside. But we weren't the first one there. We're st uh, well, we're still pumped up. I'm going to help restore the city, too. We're no longer slaves. Okay, yep. Uh, be, be, be. Okay, um... So... Bahamut told me that Shinjuku Medical Center might be where the actual third Horseman of the Apocalypse is. And I just, for some reason, didn't feel the intensity. Or maybe I just had to do some story. I thought it'd be safe with Fornius dead. But now there's a demon living in the Annex who's ten times as terrifying. He looks like the Grim Reaper riding a black... Oh, there you go. In the Attic? Annex is the center of the conversation now. Up ahead is the main building. You already forgot? It's the other way, right? 
Oh. Who are you? You've got the scent of death all over you. Yeah, those horsemen of the apocalypse guys are after me. That's why. Now we have a friend or a fiend. Give me a break, man. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. It's my job to do that. Or rather, I want to do it. Could you imagine if the fiend was already here by the beginning of the game and we just died? Would have been a big old oopsie. stairs let me save damn it i need to escape from poverty first before i can escape from here oh yeah you're the one who gave me like the couple thousand maka get good scrub okay probably meant upstairs. This is the attic, but I think they I think they consider the first and the second floor part of the attic too, I guess. And I'm guessing it's not here because the red thingy isn't doing the the red atmosphere isn't Oh shit. Wait a second. Was I not going the right way? I forgot what the layout of this hospital was. Wait, is that a... It may be hard, but don't give up now. Oh, you can't heal me anymore? Well, damn. That sucks. Not that it matters. I mean... I'm pretty self-sufficient when it comes to healing and stuff anyways. At this point. stairs lead to I don't remember there being stairs there for some reason a new hallway, does it? For some reason, this just blinked out of existence in my head, if it isn't. I heard there's a fiend on the floor above. Oh, no, I've been here before. Oh, yeah, this is... Un okay, 
this was what got me to unlock the other side of the door for the basement. Never mind. I remember. I really need a stoma. In between this episode and the next episode, I'm probably going to end up, like, uh, fusing a demon with a stoma and healing capabilities. Where the hell... I sense a dangerous power. A demon that brings about famine lurks in the room ahead. You and that demon are fated to meet. Most regrettable... The room ahead? Not... Wait, this? No. Rarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I guess. Okay. All right. Strictly heal. Strictly heal. No time for any bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blue, 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 blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right, shut up. It wasn't even you that killed me. It was one of your scrubs. Okay. Rehabilitate. Super Kaja. Super Kaja. Rehabilitate. That did jack shit. Rehabilitate. Sukukaja. Sukukaja. And one more debilitate. Soul Divide Sweetness Okay The main guy is almost dead K Kill his ass Kill his ass Ay. Okay Mediorama. Akakaja. Petrocarn. Dix. Don't do that. What are you doing? Wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. You obtained the Menorah of Wisdom. Hey! Alright, now we have to find the last horseman of the apocalypse. Hey, you there! Thanks for beating the demon in this room. Ah, crap, you're a demon too. Nah, you're good, bro. Don't worry about it. Okay. Use Lifestone. Man, I am so glad that I got um, Sun Wukong, because goddamn, that physical move of his is just ridiculous. And because I have like a thing that has him have critical attacks more often than not, that just gains me an extra turn every single goddamn time, for the most part, which is so good. It also helps that it does a shit ton of damage. <laughs> I can see it. I can see you suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Let's not do this. I don't know what the hell you want, lady. Uh. Ah, go back to the basement. Where haven't I gone that might have a horseman of the apocalypse? I went to the underpass of Ginza. 
Fought one there. The hospital. Fought one there. Shinjuku? No, this is Shinjuku. Uh, Shibuya. Shibuya? Maybe? Asakusa had one. Ikebukuro had one already, but like it wasn't a horseman of the apocalypse. It was one other fiend, the Daisuju, I think. So I don't know if they'll put a horseman of the apocalypse there again. We'll see. I want to try getting all the menorahs before the end of this episode. That get me into the next Kalpa. You've got the scent of death all over you. Yeah. It's what happens when you challenge the horsemen of the apocalypse is... Okay, uh... Shibuya. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe that secret room? This is Shibuya, the city of the free. The other cities battle it out because of philosophical contentions, but everyone here is pretty chill. A dark ceremony is pre being prepared, but something seems off. There are two underground plazas in the city. One's got shops. Uh, Cathedral of Shadows, yeah. Something's wrong. Could it be? Might someone have bumped For uh, Fornius off? Hey, you over there. Do you know if Fornius is okay? I slaughtered him. What? Sure, a wimpy little nerd like you getting the best of him. Now, where the hell is Fornius? Oh, buddy. You're delusional. You're delusional, buddy. I'm sorry. I killed him. Can I call you boss? It's a term of endearment among us hooligans. Oh, yeah. You're the one I fought. I can't... Okay. Huh. Huh. It might also be on the Asakusa map, like the outer map. I'm not sure. There's so many places it could be. I'll try the outer, like, areas outside of Asakusa. There's bad stuff going down in other cities. I'd at least like to enjoy one last post-apocalyptic shopping spree before my time is up. Do what you gotta do, my dude. I wouldn't be surprised if it was near the newest part of the city that the guy told me that they just constructed as well. So I guess I'll look there first. Just to make sure. Actually, he said that he wasn't the only one that got there before they did, right? So hold on, it might actually be there. Shit, why am I being stupid? Hold on. The city's pretty shabby, or this city is pretty shabby. There are places we can't even get through, but we'll clean it all up because it's our city. Hey, buddy, did you open your shop yet? The inner areas have been restored, I hear. We still have a ways to go, though. I want to open up soon. We'll better, back, better get back to work. Okay, good luck. Man, you must really be making a big-ass shop or something, huh? Utomimi is deep inside Mifu Mifunashiro, praying to see the future. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. 
Our holy land Mifunashiro is just past here. Northern part of the city. The Nihilo's nightmare system is at a standstill. Strange things are happening in Ikebukuro and in the Mala network. Wonder what's in store for us. Ikebukuro? Maybe it will be. Maybe it is there. I don't know. Huh. The nightmare system was put to a halt by someone. Isn't that bad for the Nihilo? You bet your ass it is. Okay. Huh. Tomimi is meditating in Mifunoshiro. Uh-huh. There's a cylinder there. They wouldn't happen to put a certain horseman here near the cylinder, would they? Come to think of it, what happened to the human boy at the monster's jail? Did he escape? That hat blathers me. Huh. All right, you know what? I'm going to do myself the courtesy of searching this up because I don't want to take forever to look for this fucking last horseman. Where to find the horses of the apocalypse? Wait, is it just the three of them? Hold on. Oh wait, was it just three of them? Hold on, was it just three of them? Am I wasting my time? I think I'm wasting my time. Holy shit, guys, I think... I think I had a brain fart. Wait. How many horses of the apocalypse? SMT3. Four. It's four. Wait. Pale Rider will start appearing after you speak to Futomimi at Mifunashiro. He'll be in a newly unblocked corridor of Asakusa that leads west from the whole town area. Wait. Huh? Maybe I have to do more story missions? So, wait a second. Oh boy. Am I mind fucking myself? It is Okay. Um Return to Terminal Asakusa. The northern part of the city is restored and now you can go inside. But we weren't the first ones here. Northern part of the city? What do you mean by that? I don't understand what you mean by that.
That is that, dudes. We're working hard to restore the city, but there's an evil mannequin hellbent on blah blah da blah da blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Huh. I already spoke to Ucho Mimi. I'm missing Pale Rider. That's who I'm missing. Okay, hold on. Never mind. Okay, I just um searched up a video that section for um that section where the collector is has to be unlocked, so I have to progress with the story, I guess. So never mind. I guess I won't be able to do the third kappa anytime soon. I don't know when I'll be able to unlock it, but I don't know. Okay. So I guess next episode, we'll just continue doing what we have to do, I guess. I don't think this is open. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to save. In between episodes, I'll get that one demon that has a stoma so I can finally not worry about scrubs disrupting me every like two seconds while I do stuff. Uh, and uh, hopefully that'll be that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my future mental anguish, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Keep pimping, my demon summoning pips.